everyone welcome back in this video we will see lesson 3 making changes by using sim and wmi so this lesson going to be the last lesson in module 6 so in this lesson we will learn um, both the sim and uh, wmi to make our uh, changes by running the methods so we have seen about the uh, methods uh, which are available for both the WMI and SIM. So uh, these uh, WMI and SIM methods are important, uh, you know, steps. So that uh, based on that uh, we can query and manipulate the repository information. So in this lesson, uh, we will see the following uh, topics, which is uh, how to discover the methods of the repository object and uh, how to find uh, you know, online documentation for methods for both uh, you know, WMI and uh, SIM. And then there will be a you know, lab session, which we'll cover it in a separate video. And then we'll see how to invoke methods for the repository object. And again, there will be a you know, lab session for that topics, which we will you know, cover in the separate video. So first we'll see discovering methods. As we have seen, um, you know, each object will contain members and uh, that member will have uh, properties methods and events associated with them so what does a method mean so a method tells an object to perform certain task or an action so uh, each repository object that we query using sim or wmi that will have some methods and using that method we can you know reconfigure the manageable components so for example win32 underscore service it's a class and it represent the background services so this win32 service class as a you know um, method called change and using that we can you know reconfigure the service setting which includes a uh, sign in password name and uh, start mode so if we know the class representing the manageable component meaning um, using that class we can reconfigure the manageable component so in case if you are not sure about the method of that class you know we can use the get dash member parameter to get the option so let us see an example get dash wmi object class name win32 service and uh, using the get dash member option we can get the available methods so this display all the available methods but uh, remember uh, not every class offer the methods because some class may not have the methods so uh, it's not you know 100 percent that every uh, class will have the methods also this output of get dash member does not you know explain how to use the methods for each class so unless we are sure how to use them otherwise you know we have to find the documentation for each class also for the uh, sim class uh, the same technique uh, does not work because uh, the object or uh, you know have only set of methods but it has no properties so for example we can run this following command get dash sim class and the class name 
bin 32 service so here we cannot use the get dash member to get the methods however instead of uh, we can use this select and uh, expand property here we can mention the sim class methods okay so uh, this you know would list the available uh, methods for the win32 service method so next we'll see the finding documentation for methods so in this example let us take a win32 service class and uh, it has the following methods so the first one uh, as we have seen the change method it modify the service and uh, the second method a change start mode it modifies the start mode of a service and uh, similarly there is a create and delete method so uh, to you know start the uh, service uh, we can use this start service and uh, for stop service we can use the stop service which plays a service in the stop state as we have seen uh, root slash uh, sim v2 namespace which is the uh, default namespace so uh, remember that uh, the repository classes which are you know um, not typically well documented other than the root slash sim v2 namespace so uh, it is better to you know do the internet search which uh, provide the fastest way you know to find the documentation for the respective class that you are looking for and uh, you can just uh, type the class name in the search engine and uh, first a few search you know would uh, typically uh, give you the documentation for the respective class okay so next we'll see invoking methods so uh, when we know the method we want to use and how to use it then you know we can invoke the method easily and uh, there are three ways exist to invoke a method so which is invoke dash wmi method and uh, invoke dash uh, sim method and for each dash object so let us see the first one using the invoke dash wmi method command So there will be two options. Either we can use invoke dash wmi method command itself, or we can use the get dash wmi object and then we can pipe out the output into invoke command. So let us see an example here. So get dash wmi object and specifying the class which is win32 operating system here uh, then I'm just piping it to invoke WMI method and the name or the action I want to perform is win32 shut down and no argument okay so i can um, you know run this command i can also directly use the invoke wmi method command invoke wmi method and the class bin 32 operating system and the name want to perform is win32 shutdown and the argument zero so either way we can you know invoke the wmi method 
so both get dash wma object and the invoke dash method have the uh, computer name parameter so using that we can execute uh, this uh, method or the uh, action into the remote computer as well As we have seen already, um, invoke dash uh, WMI method is a WMI command. That means uh, it communicate by using the DCOM protocol. So next we'll see uh, invoke using the SIM command. So the invoke dash uh, SIM method command that resemble uh, similar to invoke dash or WMI method however uh, because it is a uh, you know sim command uh, it communicates using the different protocol so for example you know when we connect to the local repository it uses the DCOM protocol and uh, when we connect to a remote computer using sim it use the WS man protocol also when we uh, use you know established uh, sim session it uses either dcom or wsman which is depending on the uh, you know how the session was created so uh, let us see uh, some example for the invoke dash uh, sim method So before we start an example, I want to mention that uh, invoke dash uh, sim method is a dictionary object, meaning uh, it consists one or more key value pair. So the key for each pair is the argument name and uh, the value for each pair is the corresponding argument value. So for example, invoke dash sim method and mentioning the computer name lan dash dc1 and the class name bin32 process and the method name going to create arguments which is as mentioned uh, it will be a key value pair path equal notepad.exe object contain unrecognized argument Okay, so I should mention the correct path of the notepad.exe. Okay, so next to uh, terminate the uh, running process, we can use this following command. Get dash sim instance class name win32 process and filter the service name well notepad.exe use the invoke sim method method name are going to terminate okay so we have noticed that uh, the uh, notepad process got closed okay so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next